This is just, you know, this isn't a GPS chip, so there's no active tracking. Okay. Just think of this as like a collar that she can't lose. Okay. Good job, pretty thing. All right. Look at that and last then, shot. Yes, yeah, sir. What were you asking? Yeah. Oh, I because I'll be documenting stuff. That's all. Right. all. That's all right. fine. Okay. Yeah, you're good. So, distemper, parvo, and lepto went okay. in the left shoulder. Okay. Rabies went in the right shoulder, and then bordetella went orally. Okay. Um. Overall, she looks very good. Obviously, this ear crop, you've got a little, a bit, little of a bit of tilt to that, so not ideal with a little bit of cupping. And you can see that you still have some suture left in there. Yeah, I see. Um, I'm not sure if you did that, but, you know, since I'm not the one who put those knots in, I'm not comfortable taking it out because I'm not sure how they arrived at that system. I got you. So you'll need probably, I assume that the, the breeder did that, so you'll want to contact them about... You know how is this secured and how should it be removed okay in terms of teeth you know she's got a full set of adult teeth in there so far so you don't have to worry about any puppy teeth left over no okay retained deciduous and then as for her actual heart and lungs they sound very good okay okay uh, no, I did all this earlier, but that way, for the sake of saying it all out loud, I yeah. mean, you know that you got it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you fine. Let's get you down there. All right. Let's do it. So we do have a little bit of what we call puppy pyoderma. Yeah. Can you see those little pustules on the side? Yeah. In there. So that is hormone based. I think you just got a picture of her foot. But, oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's hormone based. It's yeah. kind of like acne in, in children. As long as we don't have any moistness to that or we don't pop any heads, then I typically say just let it be. Um, it's more hormonal, it's more of a hormonal problem than an actual infection. Okay. Now, if you do see, you know, those little green pustules down there, or if she starts to get kind of wet, like raw looking skin, give me a call. I got you. All right. And then uh, in terms of commercial diets, uh, my general recommendation is just the Purina Giant Breed. And I, and I, I def, still, that's why, I, yeah, I got you. I'm going yeah. to switch it. Because okay. um, it's going to probably take some time, too, because I know I never fed her like the regular dog food yes, like sir. that. And so. Yeah, and you want to do that transition over the course of about a week. So that way, you know, you don't just completely flip her stomach by them. I got you. Um, and then, you know, just watch out for diarrhea with the, this raw diet because that's the first sign that she's got some... That she, she had, had problems. Mm -hmm. It started uh -oh. last week, so that's okay. what I She's still eating well, though? Yeah, she eating well. All right. Then keep an eye on it. If she stops eating, give me a call. We'll get you an antibiotic, some, something for it. But hopefully, um, there's just a dysbiosis of bacterial overgrowth. And as we switch that diet, it will work its way out of the system. All right, gotcha. All right, sweet Pete. You ready to go down? <laughs>